Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today I am in Essex. There was a peacock over there behind me and there's one there too which is being really noisy which is cool because it's very rare that you get to see a peacock while you're out walking about. Anyway, I'm in Essex today. A nice early start this morning um, and I've come here to see the headstone of Mike Reed. Fantastic actor, comedian. I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a minute. Don't forget, if you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll show you a little bit more about this church. Mike Reed, born on 19th of January, 1940. Reed was born in East London, in Hackney, in 1940, and began to earn money almost as soon as he could walk. According to his autobiography, terrific. During the 50s and 60s, he was a member of a North London gang that hijacked lorries, blew up safes and settled scores with shotguns. After a spell in Brixton prison, he vowed to end his criminal career for the sake of his second wife Shirley and children and embarked on a career in entertainment, gaining small roles in series including Doctor Who, Minder, Wurzel Gummidge, Steptoe and Son, The Saint, The Prisoner. And he also worked as a stuntman in films including The Dirty Dozen, Spartacus. His big break was a as a stand-up comic in the 70s when he was one of the original members of the Comedian series where Bernard Manning and Frank Carson also did slots from there and he went on to more success. This skinhead was talking to his mates, eh? <laughs> so he said, uh, you like me car? His mate said, yeah, he says, sir, uh, terrific, that terrific, like that, terrific, like that, yeah, terrific, that, no, he said, you got a flat tyre? Yeah, he said, oh, haven't I? He said, how do you get that? He said, I'll run over a bottle. <laughs> he said, didn't you see it? He said, no, it was in this geezer's pocket. He capitalised on his success with a one-off hit, a novelty version of the Ugly Duckling on Pie Records in 1975. It reached number 10 in the UK singles chart. In 1975, he also became a host of ITV Children's TV show, Run Around. Do you remember that? Look at the boards in front of you. You've got three names up there. What we want to know is, in which country do you associate with the guillotine? Would it be answer one, Germany? Answer two, France? Or answer three, America? You think you know? Okay, go! <laughs> Run Around ended in 1981, but his comedy routine went out of fashion with the arrival of the alternative comedians in the 80s, and his career nosedived until he began a part in EastEnders as Frank Butcher. Reed also went on to star in the gangster movie Snatch, directed by Guy Ritchie, and his new fame allowed him to return to his favourite stand-up comedy. After taking a couple of breaks from the show due to stress, he left EastEnders in 2000. Although he made the occasional brief comeback with an appearance in December 2005. He was semi-retired from show business by this time and lived in a villa in Spain. He returned to acting in early 2007, appearing in two episodes of the long-running ITV police drama series, The Bill, where he played the part of corrupt businessman Brian Stevens. This was his last broadcast television appearance at that time, though he had already filmed a reality TV series for ITV entitled The Baron Before. Before his death, the network was undecided as to whether it would be aired, but the programme started airing on the 24th of April 2008 on ITV1. Reed was the eventual winner, facing off against Susan Shaw after the departure of the other contestant, which was Malcolm McLaren. Reed was bestowed with the title of Baron of Troop. Reed had also completed filming as a gangster in the independent British film, Jack says, four days before his death. The film was released on DVD on September the 22nd, 2008. Re died in Marbella, Spain, on July the 29th, 2007, aged 67. A heavy smoker, he was suspected to have suffered a heart attack. Two weeks before he died, he had received a full medical examination and been given a clean bill of health. The 30th of July, 2007 EastEnders episode featured a dedication to him following the end credits. Reed was cremated and his ashes were buried here at St Mary's the Virgin Churchyard. So now we will have a look see if we can find his grave. 
What a beautiful sunny day. Lovely little churchyard again, as always. We do love a good churchyard, don't we? Those peacocks are still making a nice racket over there. Now this isn't the real one, and it's about slightly different, but that lane there says Robert England. Robert England, or the England, played Freddy Krueger. So I hope Freddy Krueger isn't going to appear. Let's have a look along the back here. And, uh, let's see if we can see Mike's grave. Now I know what it looks like because I have seen a picture of it. But as always, this is part of the interesting bit. So this is always a good part when you're walking around and look at, look at it from that scenery, look. It's a beautiful little place. And do you know what? I think I found it. Let's go and have a look. Oh, come along here. There we are. Treasured memories of a beloved husband, dad and granddad, Mike Reed, died 29th July 2007, aged 67 years. A light is from our household gone, a voice we love is stilled. A place is vacant in our hearts, which never can be refilled. Beautiful. And people like his wife, obviously that. My husband, goodbyes are not forever, goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. And then something from the children there. Really nice touch. Got the sun in my eyes behind. Now I just want to say, Mike Reed. Um, now I don't watch the soaps at all these days, but in the sort of 80s and early 90s when, you know, before Yep, always interrupted. Uh, before we had the uh, option of so many TV channels, I used to watch EastEnders back then. And Mike Reed was a brilliant character, Frank Butcher. When he came into it, he changed the whole dynamics of the show. You know, he bought the Queen Vic pub from um, Ross Kemp, Grant Mitchell, and his character was with uh, Peggy, then Pat Butcher, who was an old flame of his. If you haven't seen um the soap before then sorry you won't understand what i'm going on about but to all the Br british viewers that have seen it before um even as a comic during the 70s and 80s you know wall up and as a kid <laughs> that's what he used to do and, he, and he'd tell the audience to shout out shut up shut up shut up And I got our own up, we've all got idiosyncrasies, and, and we've all got, you know, a lot of disciplines. And one of my disciplines is I never ever drink for a work. But afterwards, you know, I love a glass of Terps, right? So I'll finish the show. Listen, will you listen? <laughs> so I'll finish my show, fancy the drink. I've had a few, and all right, own up time. I've gone over the top, right? I'm going home, it had been raining just before my house at a big roundabout. I've come up to the roundabout, put the foot on the anchors, it's gone to a four wheel skid, hit the roundabout side on, rolled over about eight times, flattened the bus stop, right? Landed upside down on its roof under a lamppost. Up come this copper. He went, are you drunk? <laughs> I said, of course I'm drunk, I'm not a fucking stump man. <laughs> and, um, and when 
you know, run around was on. I used to love that as a kid. You get all the different, you'd have a question, you have three answers and the kids would go to an answer, one, two or three. But then they'd play a bit of music and they had the chance to change their minds. He'd go, run around! And they'd sort of go around. But Mike Reed, brilliant. I loved him. Great actor. Great. And he was in Snatch, of course. Michael. Mike, thank you very much. You, you brought me um, a lot of smiles over my time, as I hope he did for some of you viewers out there as well. Really funny guy. Great comedian. You know, served his time for his bad part in his younger years. But hey... You know, went on to make a success. Good man. Very funny man as well. Good man, Mike. So, there we have it. Another one in Essex on a cold, chilly morning today. But we've had peacocks. We've had beautiful scenery at the sun. We can't complain, can we? Now, don't forget, if you did like that video, give it a thumbs up for me. Um, also, you know, if you can, subscribe to the channel as well, if you haven't done so already, and you're liking some of the videos that you're seeing. You know, there's a whole load there that you can go back and watch now, so feel free to go and have a look. And, uh, yeah. Time to leave uh, this beautiful St. Mary's Virgin Churchyard in Essex. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Ta-da. Oh, I forgot to mention, didn't I? I have to mention it, look. For those of you. My favourite horror film, along with Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, the original Dawn of the Dead. Pfft, can't be it. Anyway, I'll see you all real soon. Take care.